Hello, welcome to this week's CNC Markets Commodity Snapshot. This week we're looking at silver, also comparing it with the price of gold, and want to see if there's some potential that silver can start to outperform now, because it has lagged behind gold a bit. There's been a massive jump to safe haven assets. Gold's really benefited, silver not so much. So leading into the ECB meeting, particularly this week, we want to see if silver can benefit. So again, looking at silver, We've seen quite a decent breakout this year in silver. It's, it's tracked higher alongside the price of gold, but it's definitely underperformed. Now you can actually look at a price chart comparing silver and gold. It's at 80. That's the biggest difference between silver and gold for a number of years. In fact, it's the biggest difference since the financial crisis. And so the last few instances in which this ratio has been this wide has actually pointed to a bit of a turmoil in the market. So A, we've got to be keep an eye on this because that could mean difficulty ahead in markets, but it also could be a trading opportunity because we're at an extreme value now. Silver is really undervalued compared to gold. And so if you are in a position where you think that silver can outperform against gold going forward, that ratio will come down. You know, then you'd be looking to be more favorable towards silver, less favorable towards gold. So digging more deeply into the price chart here, we've got a comparison chart, which you can do on the CMC Markets platform. Now you can see that silver pushed higher, did a massive breakout alongside gold. We've got silver as a candlestick chart here, but we've got gold and you can see just this year, gold has massively outperformed silver. Now we've got a nice bounce off this 1465-ish type area in silver, but we're struggling around this 1580 to 16 type handle. Now that's the key breakout area because you can see this declining trend line here as well. If we can push above the declining trend line and that 1580, 16 area, then there's a good scope for silver to start catching up with gold. Even if gold falls a little lackluster, silver's got a lot of room to catch up. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at silver, possibility for it to outperform gold going forward because gold has done so well this year. Maybe gold gets a pullback, maybe silver maintains its ground or can even break above this level that we're watching, which is the 1580 to 16 area. Now we've got the ECB later today, they're looking to devalue the European currency, flood the money, flood the world with extra cash. That's typically good for assets which maintain their value like gold and silver.